What is up guys? I am back with another video. I know it's been a little while, but we do have a little problem. Something that hit me when I was recording the last video with the Coyote engine, and I'm gonna mention that in a little bit. First, I wanna give you an update on the old Mustang and how it's progressing in the body shop. I was just up there the other day for the grand unveil, and that thing is looking amazing. He's got undercoating under the whole car to protect it in the future. He's got something called lizard skin, which is apparently a heat repellent and also a sound deadening sprayed through the whole inside of the car. He also went in with Dynamat, covered it all down, and then finally primered the entire exterior of the car. It looks incredible. I think the next step is paint. I didn't realize it, but painting cars, a lot of disassembly. So he's actually got us paint a little bit now, take it all apart, paint a little bit more, put it back together, and then finally coat the entire car in paint. I am absolutely blown away. I am super pumped to go pick it up, get it in the garage, and then get going on suspension, wheels, brakes, the whole setup. It shouldn't be much longer, and I was thinking about it. I think that's the last time you're gonna see the car in the shop until I actually go grab it and bring it back when it's completely done. So next time you see it, it should be ready to rock. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into what we're doing for today's video. First things first, please don't mind all the mess on the floor. The Tesla hit a pothole the other day, bent a bunch of rims, still trying to fix that. This air intake is really, really tall. And originally I was gonna put it on the engine, even though it's not gonna fit with the fastback hood, it's gonna be too tall. But it turns out some of the other stuff wasn't working, so I had to go out and find a stock replacement. Luckily I ordered one up on eBay, came with fuel rails, injector, the intake, everything we need to put it on this old Coyote. Unfortunately, it got lost in the mail. So today's video, we're actually gonna get at some more interior pieces. But if you wanna watch some of the engine stuff coming up in the next video, definitely like the video, subscribe, and throw some comments down below. I wanna hear from all of you. So let's go ahead and start pulling down some interior pieces. I actually bought a bunch of stuff and have them in boxes over there. So we're gonna do some unboxing, some painting, and hopefully getting everything looking great. Well, my handy massive ladder is inside. So let's be lazy today. Let's see if I can climb up the shelves and get a hold of our stuff. So this is everything I have on the old Mustang. I'm hoping it's most of it. A lot of these interior pieces actually cost a ton of money. So I think I just have to do a little bit of sanding to clean it up. Probably just a really big wash. These, I actually got replacement of these. This is gonna be another wild card. This is an insert of some sort. So I think we're gonna actually have to drill out these holes in the back, try to extract this face plate. So first things first, let me go get a bowl of water with some soap, fill it up, and then we'll get washing. My wife always loves when I use stuff out of the kitchen for projects. All right, that's one panel done. Now let's hit the time-lapse button. All right, just finished cleaning this one. Check this out though. That corner, super bent in. Definitely gonna need to try to bend that back. Hopefully that works. I'm sure this thing ain't cheap. this out. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is all mud and dirt on the inside of the panel. And you know what that means? All of that mud and dirt was being flung from the underside of the car through all the rusty holes up into the actual interior pieces. So crazy.
All right, all the pieces are out here in the sunshine and breeze drying off. Hopefully in another few minutes, they'll be ready to probably get sanded a little bit, cleaned up, then get the paint flying. We've got our first victims behind me. These are the four pieces that we're gonna kick off today with, mainly because this one's textured, so I can't really do a lot of sanding, so we're just gonna paint it, see how it turns out. Same with this one. And these two are just smooth, very minimal scratches, stuff like this. I'm really not sure how it's gonna come out. So today I'm gonna be spray painting them with this trim black. I actually saw it recommended in another Mustang interior video, so I went ahead and purchased a bunch of cans, and I also purchased a bunch of extra cans to spray paint the doors. The body guy said the doors have to match the interior, so they are also gonna be trim black. This turned out incredible. Check this out. I just love this interior black. It's a little glossy. It actually looks glossier on camera than it is in person. But these panels could have been pulled right out of a box. They look that new. So if you're doing panels in your Mustang or any classic car, I would recommend this paint. Check this one out. I think this is gonna be the biggest transformation in this video. So these panels are in good condition, but look really, really rough on the surface. A lot of scratches, a lot of nicks. Look at that one up there. And then this grill is absolutely toast. Now this sits behind this panel right there. You can see the little lever thing actually sticks through the hole. And then you slide this panel open and close and it actually blows air in through the vents on the outside of the Mustang. Pretty ingenious. So first things first, let's try to get this faceplate off the back side of the panel. Well, that ain't any good. All right, that's a lot better. Now, whenever you're running one of these, please be careful. I completely messed up my eye once, got some metal in it. Safety glasses don't cut it. Wear goggles, a face shield, or something even better. Alrighty, this little flat disc did great work. Pop the top off all these rivets, so now we can try to get the plate off. Pops right out. Now will be a great time to show you the new grills. All right, big box here, all these fun little gifts. Got the light here that goes down in that quarter panel interior piece. This is our interior bolt kit. Oh yeah, this is it. Every single bolt you need to install the interior of your Mustang with a master plan list. I'll definitely need that. Check that out. Looks just a little cleaner and nicer than the old one. Now, this one is plastic, so it does not feel as heavy and solid as that other one was. However, it looks so much better. This will look amazing. All right, check out what I just found. Kind of funny. If you look at this one, nice, clean. And then you go look at this guy over here. What is missing? They forgot to paint the letters in open and closed. Nothing a little silver paint and a paintbrush can't fix, but pretty fun.
piece turned out incredible, definitely better than I expected. If you zip up close here, everything turned out really, really well. Um, all the paint's really, really smooth at the top. Looks like a brand new panel, ready to go in the Mustang. Now let's get after some of those other pieces. sure the prop goes in this orientation but I can always flip it if I need to upon install but it turned out amazing got my new latch installed here a little spring action got the prop here I think this is how you fold the thing down or fold the seat down nicely check this out it really does look so close to brand new All right, so we got all these panels done and they turned out incredible. Come down here, take a look at this. I only really did one coat of paint, so I don't know, maybe I'll come back at another coat. Overall, I am super, super impressed with all of these panels, how they came out and they are ready to go in the car. So as I was shooting the last video, I actually had a big problem with one of the parts, so I ended up having to order a new one. I'll be jumping into that in detail in the next video as we kind of recondition this Coyote and get it ready. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to catch that next video. Like this video if you liked it, comment down below if you have any thoughts or questions about anything that we did here or even if you have a Mustang of your own. I want to hear about it. I love hearing about other people's builds. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.